Hello, my friends. Ellen here. Hope all you are doing well and had a wonderful Halloween. Welcome back to my Southern Kitchen and the fourth episode of Ellen's Thanksgiving Series 2022. Sweet potatoes is a must-have at every Southern Thanksgiving table, whether it's a side dish like candy yams, a sweet potato casserole, or a dessert like sweet potato pie. So today, I'm going to make a dessert that will please your guests at your Thanksgiving table. We're gonna make sweet potato pound cake. And my friends, it is so simple and easy to make. The bomb.com delicious, soulful, full of sweet potato flavor. And we're gonna top it with a marshmallow glaze and chopped pecans that was sure to make your mouth water. Mm -mm. Everybody's gonna fall in love with this cake and you will wanna make this every year. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And also check out my Thanksgiving recipes playlist my sweet potato recipes playlist, and my previous video, Southern Cornbread Dressing. I'll post link to those down below in the description box. So grab your cinnamon and nutmeg, your sweet potatoes, and your bun pan sugar, because we're about to bake some sweet potato pound cake magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go! All right, my friends, the first thing we're gonna do is cook our sweet potatoes. In my pile of water, I have my fire over high heat. I add in my sweet potatoes. I'm using two medium-sized sweet potatoes that I peeled, diced, rinsed, and cut it into chunks. And all we do is bring it to a boil. All right, my friends, our sweet potatoes has came to a boil. So all we do now is let them cook until they fork tender about 15 minutes. All right, my friends, our sweet potatoes is tender and off camera, I drained it and I reserved the water and I mashed them. So now we're gonna add them to our blender, like so. We're gonna add a little bit of the reserved water from the sweet potatoes. And we're gonna parade them till they smooth. All right, my friends, I'm through pureeing my sweet potatoes and this is what they look like, nice and smooth. And I have two cups in total. So now we're ready to make our pound cake. Let's go ahead and measure up our dry ingredients first. We need three cups of self rising flour. I'm gonna fluff it up. Then I'm gonna level it off. That's one. We're gonna put it in my bowl with the sifter. Fluff it up. Level it off. That's two. And three perfect three cups of flour and into our self rising flour we're going to add in one teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a half a teaspoon each of ground nutmeg and baking soda and sift these together all right now we're going to set our dry ingredients aside while we work on the wet ingredients in my large bowl, we're going to add in one cup of canola oil, or you can use vegetable oil. This is going to make our pound cake super moist. One and a half cups of white sugar and a half a cup of pet light brown sugar. Four extra large eggs at room temperature. One and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. One tablespoon of orange juice. Freshly squeezed orange juice and our puree sweet potatoes. We're gonna whisk the wet ingredients together until they're well blended. And this is a dump in the bowl recipe. All 
All right, my friends, now we're going to slowly add in the flour mixture. You can also use a hand mixer if you like. All right, last of the flour. And continue whisking until it's well combined. All right, my friends, our cake batter is complete. Look at this beautiful orange batter. Nice and smooth and silky. Mmm, love the smell of sweet potatoes and cinnamon and nutmeg. Yummy fall spices. And how simple and easy was that? And it's the basic one, two, three, four cake. One cup of oil, two cups of sugar. I use one and a half cups of white sugar and a half a cup of light brown sugar. Three cups of sub-rising flour and four eggs. Easy peasy. And this is a down-home cake and inexpensive. All right, now we're ready to pour our batter into our pan. We're going to pour it into a greased 10-inch bun pan and I spread it with baking spray. All right, so now I'm gonna shake it and bang it to get the air bubbles out. Now we're ready to put our cake in the oven. Oven's preheated to 350 degrees and we're gonna let it bake for about one hour and 20 minutes. And I'll bring you back. All right, my friends, I have taken my sweet potato pound cake out of the oven. Mmm, it smells incredible. See how nice and golden brown that is? Smells like fall. All right, so now I'm going to let my cake cool in the pan for about 10 minutes, and then I remove it from the pan and cool it on the wire rack completely. And while that's cooling, let's get started on our marshmallow cream glaze. In my large bowl, I have one seven-ounce jar of marshmallow cream. And we're going to add in a fourth of a cup of powdered sugar that I sifted, or you can whisk it, and two ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. And we're going to add in one tablespoon of evaporated milk. You may add more if needed. And whisk all these ingredients together until they're well blended. All right, my friends, and just that quickly, our marshmallow glaze is complete. See how simple and easy it was? Now we're ready to give our pound cake some sugar. All right, and there's one more thing we gotta add to it. Some chopped pecans right on top. And I toasted them on the stove until they crisp and warm through. Just like that, isn't that pretty? And there you have it, my friends. Sweet potato pound cake. Doesn't that look good? So now I'm about to fix me up a plate and I'll give it a taste. All right, my friends, I fixed me up a plate and I'm serving it with a scoop of vanilla ice cream on the side. Now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Oh yeah, beautiful texture. Mm-mm, look at that. Have a bite. Mmm. Light and fluffy. I can taste the sweet potato and the spices. Just melts in your mouth. And I love that marshmallow glaze on top and the crunch from the pecans. This definitely screams fall. This is marvelous, my friends. Please give this recipe a try. 
This is another bite. I'm going to grab me a little ice cream. Mm-mm. Yum o. -oh. Sweet potato pound cake delicious. My friends, I want to thank all y'all for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Also, follow me on social media, Facebook, Ellen's Homemade Delights, and Instagram at Ellen Delights. And don't forget to hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights. And to purchase a cookbook along with your picture, please send me an email, ellenshomemadedelights at gmail.com. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes. And I'll see you next time. Let's eat. Much love and happy Thanksgiving.